This video is for you if you're interested in painting your dark cabinets white, but maybe you don't want to do it yourself because you're not good at DIY or you just don't want to take the time to do it yourself. Stick around for my tips on how to use a professional painter to paint your dark kitchen cabinets white and some tips on how to make sure you have the least amount of disruption possible. Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie, and this is my channel where I share real food recipes so you can feel your best. But today we're not talking about nutrition or food, we are talking about my kitchen cabinet transformation. You may have heard me talk in one of my previous videos about how I really wanted to have my dark kitchen cabinets painted white. I've actually been thinking about doing it for a few years now. But between lockdown and everybody being so busy, it just took a lot of time to find the right painter and the right time to have it done. So as I mentioned in the intro, I'll be sharing some tips on how to have it done quickly and efficiently. And I'll also share some of the footage of the before and after transformation of having my very dark kitchen cabinets painted this beautiful shade of white. Before I share my tips of what I learned during this project, let me show you the before footage of what my kitchen looked like before and how I got ready for this very big change. Here is the before shot. It's a little bit of a state of chaos right now. Got the boxes here. And I am packing everything up because one thing when you are having your cabinets painted, whether you're doing it yourself or you're having a professional painter, you do have to empty the drawers. And so, let's see, you can kind of get an idea of how it looks now. Um, there's another section on this side. I also have a pantry right there, which will be painted. I'm going to keep the same hardware but this video is to show you the, what the cabinets look like as they are right now. And I wanted to show you this part here. There is a space at the top and my cats, believe it or not, they jump from the floor and then they kind of do like put their pause there and then they do a jump all the way up there. They like to hide out up there, but in the process they have scratched their back paws, scratched the heck out of this piece here. So the painter will have to fill that, these deep scratches. But the boxes are up there to break the cats from the habit. And I probably will have to keep them up there even once they're painted because I don't want my new freshly painted cabinets to be scratched again. So that is pretty much the tour I'll show you on this side as well. There's the sink and the dishwasher and of course everything is going to have to be removed from the countertops. I'm just in the process of that now. I have a huge to-do list over the next couple of days. Um, I did have to remove everything from the bottom, just the bottom shelf there, so the painter can paint this section here. He'll be removing all the doors and getting every little last section of brown out of this kitchen. So I'm hoping that going to look a lot brighter when um, everything's done. I'm very excited. It's kind of a big process to get it all ready, but hopefully it will be, it will be worth it. All right, we are the day before the painters come now. Everything is pretty much cleaned out, just a few remaining items. I did go through all the cabinets and drawers and thinned out a lot of the cabinets and then emptied the drawers completely and had to set up a little mobile kitchen, which I will show you. So both of these carts used to be in the kitchen and I've moved them out here into the 
living room area and I may need to use um, maybe the blender, maybe the air fryer, but everything's here if I need it. And then over on this side of the living room, I have another cart here with another instant pot, my silverware, and then coffee making equipment, very important, and cat food stuff, um, knives, and so this will be kind of the area where I prepare food for the next week or so. And this is the last thing I wanted to show you. This is essentially all the items from the cabinets and the drawers and just packed them up in boxes. I didn't do any fancy wrapping or anything since we're just storing them right here. It's pretty close to the kitchen, but it was quite a bit of stuff. So this stuff will live here just for about a week while the cabinets are painted. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of some of the preparation that I had to do as well as what my kitchen looked like before the cabinets were painted white. Just to be specific, these were custom wood cabinets that had been put into this kitchen by the builder of the home around 2012. And I did contact that cabinet contractor about four years ago and I asked him if the cabinets which were a stained wood were appropriate to be painted and he actually told me no but that turned to be turned out to be incorrect i don't know if he just didn't have that experience or maybe he wanted me to buy all new cabinets and you might be wondering what are some of the reasons why i wanted to paint the kitchens a lighter color and maybe some reasons why you might be wanting to have your dark kitchen cabinets painted a lighter color and for me I prefer the light uh, white aesthetic. I feel like it goes well with my brand. And then I also feel like it is a smaller, relatively smaller sized kitchen. And so the darker colors seem to make it feel smaller, whereas the lighter colors really do seem to open it up and it feels like a whole new kitchen. And lastly, it's a very big change that ends up being quite a bit less expensive than any other type of change that you can do in your kitchen, including I had an estimate on changing the countertops. I also had an estimate on changing the backsplash, and then as well as actually pulling out the cabinets and replacing them. And painting the cabinet is by far the least expensive of all those other options. And it was pretty much done in less than a week. So. As you can tell, I'm very thrilled with how the project turned out, and I thought I would share some tips with you if you are thinking about um, you know, working with a painter to have your kitchen cabinets painted in the same way that I did. So first of all, I would suggest that you do balance the cost of professional painting with the cost and um, the disruption of tearing out all the cabinets and replacing them. I mean, it is really, very minimal cost to paint versus having new cabinets, especially in this day and age where everything is just so much more expensive. And also if you replace your cabinet, it's going to be an extremely loud, long and messy process. And having the kitchen cabinets painted was slightly messy, but I believe it would be nothing compared to the mess and disruption of tearing out the whole kitchen. My second tip is to find a quality painter because you are going to get what you pay for in most cases. So you can ask around your neighbors or look online and find a painter who has an excellent reputation. And I think most of all, finding a painter who actually has gone through the experience of painting cabinets because um, the really fine details matter a lot. For instance, my painter spent a whole day prepping the cabinets to be painted, meaning that everything was masked off and also the rest of the kitchen was separated from the rest of the house with plastic. So that helped keep any of the sanding and the overspray from getting outside of where it was supposed to be. Um, my third tip comes to when you are actually choosing the color of paint that you're going to use. And this can be a very, very overwhelming process. Even if in your mind you think, 
I want to have white cabinets. There are thousands of colors of white or shades of white that you can find at a paint store. And so my best suggestion is to find another white in your home or in my case, I actually matched the cabinet color to the baseboard, which is already white. So that made it very easy. And then there wasn't any issue with uh, tones or anything clashing with any of the existing colors in the kitchen. And so I recommend trying to, again, find something else in your kitchen that you can um, choose to match or just make sure that the tones will go together. And you can, um, you can get samples of paint just to make sure that you choose the right color because once you get started, you definitely don't want to change your mind and have to find a different shade. You wanna do that all um, ahead of time so you know exactly what you want. And in terms of preparation, I would say for this project to be the least disruptive as possible for you and your family, you, um, you wanna prepare as much as you can. So your painter will probably tell you what you need to remove, uh, from your kitchen, but in my case, I had to remove everything from the drawers, everything um, from the bottom level of the cabinet. So in this area here, I also had to remove um, everything from the drawers, which are on the bottom portion of the cabinets. And I simply um, had boxes and bins and put everything, I didn't really wrap everything because it wasn't like I was moving where things would get really jostled. I was able to store all my kitchen items basically in my living room, so maybe 10 to 15 feet away from where I am now. So it wasn't that big of a deal to take everything out um, because again, it wasn't like I had to wrap everything up, but of course it did take, I would say between, um, one to two days or maybe a total of about four to five hours to get everything out that needed to be out of the kitchen. And then my tip number five, I believe we're on, is unfortunately you're gonna have to plan to not really be using your kitchen for several days. And this may vary depending on your painter that you use. Um, my painter was able to at least uncover um, because everything is going to be covered to prevent like the refrigerator from getting painted. And so that was covered with paper and he removed the paper at night. So I was able to access the refrigerator, but everything else, as you saw in the footage, was covered with paper and it's dirty. Um, in this area while it's being painted. So I set up a little mini kitchen in my living room and had like the coffee maker and um, utensils, things like that. And then at the end of the day when the painters left, I was able to at least use the sink and the dishwasher. Um, but I also had meals prepared ahead of time, either in the freezer or in the refrigerator, um, for instance, for um, breakfast, I had smoothies prepared. For lunch, um, a few days, my husband and I went out, but I also had some soups and things prepared that I could um, just slip into the mic into the kitchen and heat up in the microwave, and then have dinners already pre-prepared -pre 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 because just the kind of kitchen activity is very, very limited for about, you know, again, it's about four to five days and maybe even up to seven or eight days, depending on how quickly your painters are working, but just know ahead of time, you will have limited access to your kitchen for a certain amount of time. My next tip is to try to do the painting at a time of year when you can open up your windows and hopefully you'll have like a nice cool breeze that you can get through your house and this would help take away the fumes because the fumes are definitely an issue and um, thankfully, um, even though I did this project in winter time, I live in California and winter time is often fairly mild here. So we were able to open up all the windows, get a nice breeze, it, the smell was still quite intense for a few hours every day and then in the evening when we close the windows but having the windows open during the day 
really helped cut down on those fumes. And my last tip, if you are going to have your cabinets painted is once it's done to just enjoy the transformation. It's a big job. It definitely does cost a little bit of money, but I would encourage you to do it. And if you don't want to do it yourself, have a professional painter do it. I am so happy with the results and um, I hope that these tips are helpful for you. And before we leave, I'm going to give you a tour of how the finished kitchen looks. All right, here is the kitchen on a reasonably sunny day. It's a little cloudy, but the kitchen lights are off. You can see how pretty and bright it looks. Let me show you the inside of the drawer. Looking good. And then the inside of the cabinets. This looks so pretty. And they did a really great job getting all the edges. You really can't see any of the old cabinet color. It's a bit of a, a semi-gloss um, finish, so it's very easy to clean. I'll swing you around here. You can see this side, the pantry door, of course, is um, painted on both sides. And I also want to show you um, the painter filled the scratches here. It's completely smooth now, which is great. I do have the boxes still on top so the kitties cannot uh, jump up there and scratch my beautiful cabinets. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking. Again, this is the morning light. Um, this is all natural lighting and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks everyone for joining me in this video and I would love to know in the comments what is one thing about your kitchen that you would like to change. And if you're interested in learning more about clean eating, then please do subscribe and click the link in the description box below where I have a free clean eating quick start guide. And I'll also link to one of my most popular videos, which is about starting a paleo or a real food diet. And I'll link that so you can check that out next. See you next time.